Should we go and put the telly on? Can you smell burning? No, it's just this is London's burning. And you're quite impressionable. This isn't London's burning, it's Pride and Prejudice. Is it? Well, I've been watching it like it's London's burning. What the hell did you think was going on? I thought it was a massive flashback. Cup of tea? Nah. I don't have any idea either, really. I've seen this before. Oh, oh look, there was a fire. That was a clip from your latest film, Sometimes Fires Go Out, <laughs> which has been described as unrelentingly real, a devastatingly faithful rendition of how life is, and dull, dull, unbearably dull. <laughs> Those quotes, oddly, all from the same review. Welcome to the show. Hello. In many ways, Sometimes Fires Go Out picks up on some of the themes from your earlier work, most notably your short film, The Man Who Has a Cough and It's Just a Cough and He's Fine, <laughs> which we have a clip of. Super. Oh, Kylie, I do so love you. <laughs> <coughs> Darling, are you all right? <coughs> it's just a cough. <laughs> I'll be fine. <coughs> oh, Adam, it's so good to see you. You too, Kylie. If only I could shake this blasted cough. It's such a bore. Yes. <laughs> of course, darling. <laughs> Adam. Hello, Kylie. But you're... you're better. Well, yes, it's just a cough. Oh. Do you want to come back to mine? Um, look, I thought you had TB. TB? No, I'd have mentioned that. God. No, it's just a cough. Right. Wish I hadn't let you do me now. Charming. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Thank you. Um, and did you notice that the Edwardian woman's character is called Kylie? Yes. A bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Peter... <laughs> What would you say, and apologies if this seems like a crass question, is the horniest bra size on a woman? What? <laughs> By which I mean, what, if anything, is the message in your films? Well, I feel that films, the modern film industry, has increasingly failed to reflect reality as people live it. I mean, no one goes for a piss in Star Wars. <laughs> you can watch the whole of Ghostbusters and no one brushes their teeth. And in Lost in Translation, nothing happens at all. <laughs> Well, let's move on to our next clip, which is from your 1939 drama, The Gathering People. But surely, Prime Minister, Herr Hitler's actions demand the strongest possible response. Hang on. I think I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> no. No, I'm not. <laughs> so frustrating. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I need the loo. Right here. <laughs> should we carry on talking about the war? I think we should probably wait. Right. What makes me incredibly proud of that moment is that when it was first shown in the cinema, quite a lot of the audience actually went to the loo at the same point. <laughs> well, well I, I assume they went to the loo. But they left, anyway. <laughs> Indeed. And so, could you tell me, and apologies if this seems like a naive question, but do puppies have Christmas? What? By which I mean, is there an extent to which your own rejection of narrative convention, cliché, if you will... Thank you. ..has led you away from the very realism which you originally sought to portray? Are you talking about the episode of Casualty? I'm talking about the episode of Casualty. <laughs> I think they've had a terrible time with the builders. 
Well, we've had damp and it's literally the worst thing. Thank you.